all right guys it is 30 degrees it's about nine o'clock it's been snowing pretty much all day but the snow hasn't really been sticking to the ground um so the ground is just nice and muddy and i'm checking out a new spot um haven't been in this area before looking prairie dog holes and i just found an absolutely beautiful tiger salamander i'll flip the camera around here in a second um but hopefully this is the last snow so that we can start finding snakes and stuff but check out this tiger salamander that thing is an absolute beauty and it is big too check out that tail it has just like four stripes this thing is insane bright yellow just an absolute probably the coolest tiger salamander i've ever found i'll probably try to keep this salamander footage short um since i've been showing that a lot in previous videos and then we'll get back to snakes later on in the video all right letting this go i said it before but it's really hard to get good pictures at night with the iphone but i think i got some decent ones but that was easily probably the coolest tiger sal salamander i've ever seen but i'm just gonna keep on moving all right find number two right here this guy is still a really big one but not as big as the other one and he has more dull colors you can see it's a little bit more kind of dark green camo on the top um so obviously not as special as the other one but this guy so really cool still big as you can see right there um but i won't take too much time with this guy and i'll let him go all righty well i probably found that other one just like a minute ago and here we got another one this one is looking actually really nice um some more solid yellowing so solid yellow coloring um but yeah just such such awesome animals almost lost this one but i was then barely able to reach back far enough but there he goes Alrighty, here's number five i actually saw two more in a hole earlier but they were so far down i couldn't get them um but my, my phone battery is now one percent one percent lasts a long time um but the cold is just draining my battery so who knows maybe if i see more i won't be able to film it but i'm just gonna let that guy go all right here's another i might not end up showing all the salamanders i find um just to uh keep the length of the video about the salamanders um, a little bit lower but it's you got another guy right here and I'm just gonna let this guy go back down his hole okay so it is April 25th it's 8 in the morning and right now I'm about to meet up with Graham and we're gonna hopefully go see if we can find some milk snakes um, but really finding any snakes uh, is gonna be nice still kind of early for milk snakes but we're gonna give it a shot um but i guess we'll see how it goes all right so me and graham we're flipping a few rocks over the, here we just saw a bull snake that was in a rock pile but it um went back in we're gonna see if we can see it later but we just found this plains blackhead snake right here um flipped under one of these rocks right here but this is actually only the second one i've ever found and he has some decent coloring i mean his, his stomach is pretty nice red silver sides as you can see and then just a gold top so he looks pretty cool small guy but uh, it's a good sign that we're starting to see snakes so hopefully we'll uh, keep turning some up all right so here's one more look at this guy the bottom right there actually some pretty nice colors but uh we've been seeing a lot of worms all day under rocks because we've been getting so much moisture recently um and this guy can kind of look like a worm as you can see the top there um but thankfully he was able to grab it didn't get away um, so I'm just going to set it back under its rock and me and Graham are going to keep on moving and hopefully it turns some more snakes up. Alright, so I just flipped this guy. This is a young eastern yellow-bellied racer and he looks pretty good and he's been pretty feisty. Biting me over and over. So we're definitely going to try to get some pictures. But you can see that nice patterning and uh, as these guys get older they'll lose that all that patterning and just have that nice yellow stomach on the bottom and then the kind of greenish top you can see he's biting me pretty good right now well since he's tiny doesn't do much but we're gonna get some pictures and then we will let him go alrighty grandma and I got some pictures so it's time to let this guy go 
This is actually uh, the first one I found this year, and I still haven't found too many of these guys before, so love finding them. Cool to see that awesome pattern. I'm just crazy how it goes away in not long, but we'll let him go back under his rock. All right, so Graham was flipping around here, and I was probably like 200 meters downhill when he found two more chantillas, two plains black-headed snakes, and one of them you can see is tiny, that guy right there. Um, and then the other one's pretty big, considering how big plains blackhead snakes get. Um, but we're gonna probably just try to photograph that big one, and then we'll let them both go. But nice to add some snakes to the tally. All right, so since it's a hotter part of the day, flipping won't be as good right now. Um, so me and Graham are at some ponds, and I caught this small painted turtle right here. Um, it almost got away, and then it came back to shore, and I was barely able to snag it but this is my first one of the year this one has a pretty red underside normally they're more orange and uh, same with the top is a lot darker than normal um uh but cool cool guy glad we could find one and we'll let it go here in a second all righty guys so i spotted this guy just chilling in the mud um and he was, he was only a few feet offshore it was a pretty easy catch but I, I spotted him graham went in and grabbed him this is a recapture you can see that blind eye um seen some previous videos he's in one of those um so i'm not going to take too much time with him um since i've already found this exact guy but always love to find snapping turtles and it's fun to catch them but i'm just gonna let this guy go all right so it's april 27th um it's been pretty rainy all day it's gonna rain for a while longer and me and hayden thought we'd top off the video with some more salamanders uh we're checking out a new spot and if for some reason they're not out then we're gonna go somewhere else because that means that this spot wouldn't have any, because if they're going to be out, this would be the night. But we're going to see what we can find, and hopefully we'll find some salamanders. Alright, so I was right next to the road, checked the very first hole, and immediately found this Woodhouse's Toad. Now this is my first one of the year, um, but these are, guys are one of the uh, most common, if not the most common, toad in Colorado. Um, but So I won't take too much time. I'm going to hold on to him until Hayden gets here, which will be really soon. We'll let him go. But it's good news at the very first hole you check, you find something. So hopefully that can keep up. All right, so I don't know if you can see this, but check out all of these worms on the ground. I mean, it's insane how many they are. I thought they were roots at first, um, but I mean, these are amphibian food. Um, so we're going to keep moving, hopefully find some stuff. Amphibians will be out and just hopefully tiger salamanders are in the area, but we'll see. All right, well, we decided to do a strategical reassessment after not seeing anything for about 20 minutes, which isn't super long for looking normally, but um, with how good of weather conditions these are, um, we just decided to come hit Old Reliable. Now that it's kind of late, um, this is one of the few spots we know that they have for sure. We'll find more spots soon, but got this guy in a hole right here. Definitely quick. Gonna have to be faster grabbing them out of the holes, but we're gonna keep on moving. All right, so Hayden just found number two right outside this hole. We won't take too much time with each one, but this, this one's pretty big, kind of chunky. We think it's a gravid female, decent coloration, but uh, they're out. It's going to be a fun night. All right, um, these guys are pretty quick, so we saw one or two get away, but we have another one in hand right here. Um, but right outside this hole, we'll keep moving around and probably go back down. Here's salamander number four. This guy has a bit more green. Um, but we're gonna keep the tally going. All right, so we've had quite a few get away, but you can kind of see there's one way down there. It's not really showing, oh, there you go. But that's probably like four feet down. No way he's getting out of there, but it all probably connects and there's another way that he'll be able to get out. But that's kind of cool to see him way down there. And another one. And another one right here. We've probably seen like five or six since this one, but they all got away because now that it's not snowing while we're looking, they're uh, more active since it's a bit warmer and they can run away quicker. But here's another one, I'm gonna keep on looking. All right, here's another one. This one's the biggest so far. You can see my hand right there. It has a really wide head. Um, probably I'm gonna actually try to get a quick picture of this guy and then we will let him go. And another one. All right, here's two more. These guys have pretty good coloration. That big one, big one would look nicer if it uh, didn't have so much mud on it. But 
Cool to see a few more. Gonna snag some pictures and let these guys go. All right, and another one right here. Pretty solid coloration patterning on this guy. And next to that one I just filmed, we got one more right there. All righty, two more right here. They're in the same hole and I was able to grab them both. Um, but gonna let them go here. All right, and here's another one. All right, here is what we believe is number 15. And we are going to head out now. Had a fun night. Wasn't We weren't out here for too long. Um, well, I guess combined with the other place we were for a bit. But cool to see all these guys. This is the most we found at night so far and definitely seen. Because um, we saw more than just the 15 we caught. Um, but we're going to let this guy go back down its hole. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one when it's hopefully warmed up and we're out finding... Uh, other stuff as well.